The Republic of Cuba is a country in the Caribbean Sea off the south coast of Florida. It is the largest country in the Caribbean. The area of Cuba is 46736 square miles and it has a population of 11 million. Havana is the capital of Cuba. In 1982, the old walled city of Havana was declared heritage of mankind by UNESCO. The extreme poverty in Cuba forces many professional people to take up precarious occupations like street musician. is dedicated to Cuban heroes and the heroes of the revolution. Every tourist is invited to visit this wall. supposed to be the remains of uh, Christoph uh, Columbus. After viewing the beautiful exterior of the cathedral, we were invited in to see the magnificent decorations of the interior. This cathedral is still used as a cathedral. We then visited the fort, the old walls of Havana, where we had a magnificent view of the city.
This is the Cuban Parliament. Fidro Castro attends here and it is reported that he sometimes resides here. Revolution Square. This is the monument built to celebrate the revolution. Belize. Formerly known until 1973 as British Honduras. Belize is a country in Central America on the Caribbean Sea between Mexico and Guatemala. Its area is 8867 square miles and its population is a quarter of a million. Belize is famous for its Mayan temples. This is the view from the top of the temple looking down on the Mayan site. The Mayan artifacts. Sculpture undertaken by the Mayan people. Seba, it's a very soft wood and it's a fast growing tree. So the tree belongs to the Bombarcasia family and when these trees are little they have a lot of thorns protecting them and the thorns will be protecting the tree against animals. If animals go scratching themselves in the tree and if it doesn't have any thorns the trees would go. So this one is about a hundred years. So the staff you see on its branches is all the things that I was talking about, about the herb plants and the symbiotic relationship that this nature is playing with them. So those are the plants that they will be harmless for the trees and they will just keep the humidity for them. So the tree is also many others that they are kept. The Republic of Guatemala. Guatemala is a country in Central America on the Pacific Ocean with a small outlet on the Caribbean Sea. The area of Guatemala is 42042 square miles. Its population is about 8 million. We visited the world famous Tikar National Park. 
Tikar is one of the largest and most impressive Maya cities so far revealed and researched. Declared a heritage of mankind site by UNESCO, once this mighty city rediscovered in the mid 19th century was home to over a hundred thousand people. This is the view from the largest Maya temple looking down at the Maya site. From this temple one can observe four other temples. This is the view of the largest Maya temple taken at ground level. A full view of the largest Maya temple taken from a considerable distance. These are Maya artifacts. It is interesting to note that chocolate was the currency of the Maya people. This is the third largest Maya temple. This temple has some of the old original wooden beams. The public are unable to climb this temple. Access to the temple can be obtained by a wooden staircase provided by the park authority. We next visited 
the main city. The park authorities have recreated some of the Maya dwellings by using thatch, which is believed the Maya people used. A Maya carving of a mask. This is the palace area where the higher members of the Mayan society lived. The king or chieftain will climb up to the top of the tower, the highest position to communicate with the spirit. Central America is famous for its unique collection of butterflies. Our first tour in Honduras was to a butterfly farm. The Republic of Honduras is a country in Central America with a northern coastline on the Caribbean Sea and a short southern one on the Pacific. Honduras covers an area of 43227 square miles and has a population of about 4 million. After visiting the butterfly farm, it was time to relax at West End Village, a local seaside resort.
we left Honduras and then sailed down to Costa Rica. The Republic of Costa Rica is a country in the Central American Isthmus between Nicaragua and Panama. Paris has its Eiffel Tower. London has St Paul's Cathedral. Costa Rica is famous for its stones. Where these stones came from and who made them, although they know they are handmade, nobody knows. We visited the National Museum in St. Duan, the capital of Costa Rica, where we saw this old-fashioned hay wagon and this collection of Spanish guns. Costa Rica has an area of 19653 square miles and a population of just over 2 million. Costa Rica is unique because it is the only country in the world with no standing army. After visiting Costa Rica, it was time to relax on a nice beach in Panama. The Republic of Panama is a country in Central America, occupying the Isthmus of Panama. Narrow coastal plains rise to volcanic mountains. Panama has an area of 29201 square miles and a population of just over 2 million. Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. Colombia has an area of 456535 five square miles and a population of 46 million. We started our tour by visiting Catalonia, which was founded in 1533 and has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of its unique military, civil and religious architecture built by the Spanish during the 15th and 16th century. This is the view from the Spanish fort. The Spanish started building this fort in 1536 and continued for the next 121 years. We next visited the monastery, the Lady of the Candle, the Candelabra. This is the beautiful monastery courtyard.
is the view from the monastery looking down at the residential area of the town. Street on the top, you see the cathedrals. That's uh, that ca the cathedral has almost uh, 400 years old cathedral. So now we are going to see the cloister and the church. The cloister of Pedro Claver, uh, Peter Peter Claver. Peter Claver was a Spanish priest who dedicated his whole life, dedicated his whole life to the African slaves. So we are going to see the room where he dies. This church was built in honor of Pedro Claver. In the center of the altar, you see the statue of Pedro Claver. This is marble from Italy, from Carrara. The marble from Italy, from Carrara. Here we have nothing. Every day, not on the weekends. This is a statue of Simon Valivia, 1783 to 1830. He was a South American soldier and statesman. He was known as the Liberator. We next visited a rich merchant's house. The wealth of a merchant could be determined by the number of floors the property had. This was the convent of St. Teresa. It is now the most deluxe hotel and the most expensive hotel in Colombia. After all that exhausting tourism, it was now time to relax and watch a display of Colombian dancing. took a boat tour around the harbour. From the boat we observed the view of the Spanish fort from the sea.
This is part of the convent of St. Teresa, now the Deluxe Hotel. This is the President's house. The President's house. Aruba is a West Indian island. It was formerly a Dutch colony, but now is a self-governing province of the Netherlands. It has a population of 68,000 and an area of 75 square miles. This spectacular natural bridge has been carved from solid coral by the rentless pounding of the ocean's surf. It rises 25 feet above sea level and stretches across 100 feet. has desert vegetation. This is because the island receives very little rainfall. This 
visiting this natural bridge, we then proceeded to enjoy a tour round a butterfly farm. The state of Grenada is an island in the West Indies, in the Windward Islands, in the East Caribbean Sea, off the north east coast of Venezuela. Its area is 133 square miles and it has a population of 100,000. We first visited the National Park Nature Centre. Grand Itang, a large lake which linguishes at 1,900 feet in the crater of an extinct volcano. The views of the indigenous vegetation and forestry were truly magnificent. We next visited the Am Mardale Falls, where we watched the divers jumping into the falls.
a stroll around the historic dockyard of Grenada. Thank you. 